Welcome back to yet another episode of Jack's Tech Corner. And again, we're still doing some post-installation of Windows 7. And I was creating my folders, and I thought, you know, this is going to make a nice little video for you folks, because you're going to come up with this question, and it's kind of mind-boggling mind -boggling how it works. But the question is, is we created that new partition. I told you, you want to keep all your data on there. Now, what I like to do is we move our actual folders and what I'm talking about is when you click on the start button you go to documents pictures music or videos we want all that information coming from that new partition that new D drive right now if you click on pictures what's gonna happen is this is actually on the C drive and I know that just by opening up the C drive double clicking users opening up your own user folder you can see in here now pictures so that is where it's actually coming out of but we want to get that pictures folder defaulted over to the D drive so that's what's really important we want to get it on the D drive to make sure when we store anything in under pictures or videos that it all gets put on that big data drive that we have that we're going to work at backing up um, not the Windows drive that we really don't care a whole lot about so Let's go up to, I've already done documents. If you look at documents, you can see it's on the D drive now. And under my documents or documents folder, I'm just saying it's mine because it's mine. But under documents, I'm actually creating the actual uh, folders in here I need for pictures because I've moved pictures already. If you click on pictures, right click and go to properties. Um, no, we did we move videos. If you look at videos, that's actually under documents. Um, it's a new library though, it's still under library, but I moved it to my D documents. Okay, so I moved that to my D documents. Now we want to move pictures and music the same way. So how did I do that? Well, what I wanted to show you was, it's very easy to do this. We need to create two more folders on our actual D drive. So we're going to open up computer, D drive documents and the other folders we need in here is one called music and one called pictures well there's already one here called pictures so we're going to use that I must have created that already. I just didn't move anything yet because I wanted to show you how this actually works so I created that folder alright I created that folder now I need to create a folder yet um, for music so I'll just right click in here go down to new and go to new folder or you know with Windows 7 you just come up here in the toolbar hit new folder type in music this way I have everything being stored on my new partition my my new large D drive I have I'm ready to go now once we do this we need to come over to this library folder over here and tell it where these are actually at now so let's go to music first right click on music and go to properties and what you're going to see here, if you can uh, pick this out, is normally it's C Users Jack or whatever your username is. And then there's a public uh, folder also, C Users Public. That's where you can dump stuff in for public. We're not really too concerned with that. We just want to change um, and make sure we have our folder coming from our D drive. So let's go include a folder. This is where you're going to click on computer again, right? And we're in videos already. See how it came up already like that? Um, what were we working on though? We weren't working on video on this one. We're working on music. So go here. Double click your D drive. Open up documents. And open up music. If the path is up there. Click on include folder. And at that point you'll see it right here. Music folder under documents. So we can go up here where we're going to select this. You can set this as a default uh, save location. We'll remove these ones. Just remove that. You can push this one right up like that. Click apply and OK. Now when you hit your start button, you bring up music. You can see it brings up both locations. So you can add locations in there too. That's pretty cool. Uh, you can add locations for the, the shortcuts to open up. Because you may have some music somewhere else on your hard drive, you want to add that, and that will open up in your folder here. But you can see now it's pointing to D documents. This one's still pointing to C users public. 
I just left it. You can delete it. Doesn't much matter. With that, now the last one we had to do is pictures. We're going to do it the same way. You can see now if I click on it, just comes kind of up in the, on the C drive. We're going to right click, go to properties. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to include a folder. Click here, double click our D drive, open up documents, and open up pictures. Click on include this folder. Here it is again, pictures on our D documents. I like keeping everything in there because when I'm backing up, I do off-site backups with a company called Mozy. That's M-O-Z-Y dot com. Five bucks a month, unlimited backups. Um, I need to contact them yet uh, for some advertising, but um, I just want you to know because I'm trying to help you. So if you know these little key factors of how to back up your stuff, it's great. But I just have to pick out that documents folder and everything under there is getting backed up. I don't have to do individual folders. It, it kind of um, makes things makes life difficult. So again, right click on that, set that as the default, and right click on the C one and remove it. And then just move this up just so the order is uh, proper. Click apply and OK. That's how you actually move all those folders. Now everything in here is moved. Um, if you look at that, here's pictures under uh, D documents. If I open that up, you know, you can. Folder's empty. I can go in there. I can start uh, adding my uh, pictures, which I'm going to start working on and getting all my pictures put over to this drive so I can back everything up. Everything else is uh, looking good there. Let's see if I uh, click on music. Music is now under D documents. Pictures is now under D documents. And videos is now under D documents. So it makes everything really easy to find. And as I said, it's on that larger partition. Okay, folks, thanks for walk it, watching. I hope I didn't babble on too much. It's just kind of my style of teaching. Um, I, I'm sure you've, or I hope you've at least really enjoyed these videos. Email me, let me know how I'm doing. I know normally, traditionally, I am a Photoshop Elements type of guy, but uh, I've been doing computer work for going on 19 years, so I have a lot of um, thought process, I guess. Uh, some people call it. Um, you know, I don't like being referred to as a computer expert. I don't think anybody's an expert in really any field. And if you feel you are, I accept my apologies already. But I don't think I'm an expert at anything because I think you need to learn each and every day. An expert knows everything about anything. And um, I don't think I am that way. Um, maybe a computer guru, I guess, because I enjoy it. I like learning. This stuff is cool to me. And uh, once you learn it's in your head, then I like to share it with you. So I don't mean to ramble on, but that is my style of teaching. Thanks again for watching Jack's Tech Corner. This is another post-installation of Windows 7 video. And I'll see you back here very soon. Bye for now.